Welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Katie Burns Ryan. I'll be the MC for today's event. Just want to let you know that we will begin in about five minutes. So uh, get comfortable. And uh, I know that the recipients are really wanting to get started. We will be lining them up shortly. And as soon as you hear the music, they are going to be processing in. So get comfortable. We'll see you in about, now it's four and a half minutes.
Well, I don't think we could have timed it any more perfect than that. Wow. Uh, welcome, everyone, to the Spring 2022 White Coat Ceremony. Faculty uh, platform party, you can go ahead and have a seat. My name is Dr. Katie Burns Ryan. I am the Dean for the College of Chiropractic here at Northwestern Health Sciences University. And speaking on behalf of all of us, we are so excited to get to celebrate this milestone with you in person uh, today. Now, these recipients, these individuals that are sitting in their white coats right now, they have worked incredibly hard over the last almost two years. So if you ask yourself, boy, why haven't I seen so-and-so for, you know, for Thanksgiving or for various holidays? It's because of all of their hard work. Uh, and they did all of this in a pandemic, which is, wow, what resiliency. That is absolutely incredible. Now, I want to give you a little bit of stats because that's who I am. I love stats, all right? These students have sat through over 1,900 hours of labs and lectures. All along the way, they've had some mini milestones that they certainly should have celebrated to the, get to this point. The first, of course, being cadaveric dissection in anatomy. The next, getting over just the nervousness of touching one another in methods one with Dr. Larson, right? Finding those anatomical landmarks. After that, I'm thinking of methods three and performing your first cervical adjustments on one another. And then, of course, methods four, performing their first side posture adjustment. That's the one where you feel like a pretzel and not dropping anyone off the table. All right? Mini milestones, everyone worth celebrating. Now, these students did not get here on their own. And I'd like to recognize all of the faculty that were here to advise, instruct, and mentor them. So would my faculty please rise? You can have a seat. Now, I mentioned how resilient the students are. Our faculty are equally as resilient teaching during a pandemic. So thank you so much for all of your hard work and your dedication. I would also like to recognize the platform party that's sitting up here with me today. First is Dr. Deborah Bushway, our president and CEO of Northwestern Health Sciences University, who will be providing a dress for our recipients today. Next to her is Dr. Joseph Muldoon, a chiropractic faculty member who was selected by the trimester six students to provide the keynote speech. Dr. Mary Tookshire, a longtime faculty member and professor reading the names of our recipients. Dr. Chris Smoley, Director of Clinical Education, who will be handing out your certificates. Dr. Kathy Bloom is the president of our alumni board. Now, it's the alumni board that graciously gifts the white coats to our recipients. And I would like to publicly acknowledge this incredible gift provided to our students and their future colleagues. I would also uh, like to take a moment just to talk to my students here to say, I don't want you to forget this moment. Look at the people who are here supporting you. Dr. Bloom here, the, the Alumni Association providing the white coats. Uh, remember how this feels, how it feels to be supported by, by your colleagues and pay that forward in the future. Um, I would also like to mention Dr. Uh, Mr. Anthony Molinar. He is our Dean of Students. And then sitting in the very first seat of the white coat ceremony over here is Mr. Mike Cooper, who, along with his classmates, in a little less than, a, a, a little more than a year, will be Dr. Cooper. He is going to be reading the oath. That's our platform party for today. Finally, I would like to recognize the friends and families that support our students day in and day out. Without your love, without your support, these recipients would not be here today. So, students. Please stand up, make eye contact with your loved ones, all right? And I want you to give them a big round of applause for all that they've done. Now our program is certainly challenging. It's a lot of hard work, but these students have successfully navigated again during a pandemic which 
is just one other reason why I could not be more proud of each and every one of you sitting out there today. So it's definitely time to celebrate this hard work and it's time to welcome you into the clinical environment. So to start things off, I would like to introduce our keynote speaker, Dr. Joe Muldoon. Dr. Muldoon was selected by these T6 students to give the address, and I am not surprised you selected him. Dr. Muldoon is a 1991 NWHSU graduate. He has 27 years of clinical experience and five years of academic experience here at Northwestern. We stole him. Yay, we stole you. <laughs> now, he teaches a variety of different courses, most notably gross anatomy. And the reason I say it's most notably is because these students met each other in the most unusual of circumstances, cadaveric dissection. Now, you can imagine the anxiety that can come with this very new experience, but I will say that Dr. Muldoon's calm, down-to-earth demeanor, coupled with his excitement, I dare say passion for chiropractic and learning, certainly makes it a memorable experience. So with that, I invite Dr. Muldoon up to the podium. Thank you, Dr. Burns Ryan. I have to say, she totally stole my thunder because everything that she talked about are things that I'm gonna to talk to you about too. You know that, um, first off, I have to say that I had, a, I had a student request that I wear the kilt. And I said, I said, that's a great idea. And I can't tell you how hard my wife tried to talk me out <laughs> wearing this today. <laughs> but I told her, I said, this is a special occasion. This is a special occasion for me. Just like uh, that most hallowed of holidays, St. Patrick's Day is for me as well, right? It's not often that I'm asked to acknowledge and recognize my future peers for their accomplishment, for their movement into the clinical realm. This realm that will be yours following here. This is rubber hitting the road. This is where you start to really put together the things that you've acquired and learned at this university, okay? I'm here to acknowledge the tremendous growth, the incredible growth that I've seen. As Dr. Uh, Burns Ryan was, was mentioning, uh, T1, week one, day one, in the lab, I got to see the deer in the headlights, right? That, OMG, what have I done, you know? I don't think I can do this uh, look on your face, right? And then I get to see around T3, T4, you start getting into your rhythm a little bit, you get some wins under your belt, you have gross anatomy out of the way, right? Get some board exams. And all of a sudden you start to feel your academic mojo, things are going your way. And I see your faces and I see uh, that deer in the headlights has transitioned into a, I've got this look, right? I'm tired, but I've got this, right? It's amazing to watch this, and check this. I see, I see you now at this stage in your, uh, in your transformation, totally engaged and embracing your, your dreams. This is incredibly inspiring for me. This is neuroplasticity in action, yes? <laughs> neuroplasticity in action, to see how this happens, right? 86 billion neurons in your brain. I always have to take somebody else's word for that because I've never counted. Dr. T, have you counted? No? Everyone. Everyone? <laughs> <clears throat> so I'll take her word for it. 86 billion neurons all firing, right? And it's about these connections that you're making <clears throat> that are going to help you connect this information, take, this, take these pieces that you're getting, developing these, these, uh, these new problem-solving skills and these new psychomotor skills that you've developed, yes? So that is amazing to me. We know that this works because we know that neurons that fire together do what? Neurons that fire together do what? They wire together, right? <clears throat> this is learning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Everything you've learned and everything you will ever, ever learn is based, about, is based on connections, developing connections to what you know, right? It's said that all learning, is, uh, all learning is understanding relationships. We learn things in relation to what we already know. I tell you this in the lab constantly, right? Uh, it's further said that uh, there's no significant learning without significant relationships. You, 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 you checking me here? I mean, you, you understand? It's the connections that we form with people that are helping to teach us, right? Uh, I, would, I would go a step further to tell you, based on my clinical experience for you, to say that there's no significant healing without significant relationships. 
and I want you to tuck that in your back pocket for your clinical work as you move down the road, okay? Um, on the topic of significant relationships, I, wanted, I would like to just have my, my, future, my future colleagues stand up for me real quickly if I could. As Dr. KBR had had, had you acknowledge, uh, had you do this. Well, first thing, I'd just like you to clap a little bit. And I want to say, I want to say thank you, Dr. Zachman, you owe me 20 bucks. He said I wouldn't be able to get a standing ovation out of you. <laughs> I got it. It was cheap, but I got it. All right. No, while, while you're standing, all kidding aside, I'd like you to turn around and again re-acknowledge the, the friends and the family and the loved ones that are here supporting you while you're here. And I want to ask you, did you get here on your own? Did you get here by yourself? Turn around and look at these people. Embrace that. Look at that, the support that people are, are bringing here for you, okay? The answer is certainly no, right? Did your connections to them and all of their love and encouragement help to get you to where you are right now? Yes or yes? I'm not even going to give you the option of no, okay? Turn around, back around here. You're looking at your faculty, I see, right? Take a look at the faculty up here. Collectively, we have occupied almost every waking moment <laughs> of your last two years. No kidding, right? As Dr. Burns Ryan described, the, the hours that you've spent learning, that is incredible uh, time commitment that, that you've uh, involved. Did we challenge you? Yes, right? For sure. But that's okay because Lord knows you've challenged us too <laughs> in many ways, right? You challenge us to be better at what we do and uh, sometimes just to be better, right? Every day, just to be patient, right? Uh, the reason that we challenge you, I can tell you, is that I, I know that these, uh, these faculty, they care about what they're doing. You have some of the most, uh, some of the brightest, certainly some of the most dedicated and most generous faculty you could ever ask for. I know this. We care about what we're doing. We care about the profession, and we care about helping you become the most skilled and uh, most, uh, most competent clinician, professional that you can become. And I ask again, did you get here by yourself? That's an une unequivocal no, right? Their support, did their support and encouragement all along this path, did that help you get to where you are right now? Yes or yes? That's another yes, yeah? Lastly, um, I'd like you to turn and acknowledge each other. Look at each other, right? Get some of that oxytocin and some of that dopamine surging in your brain as you, as you connect with each other, right? With your, all your chiropractic sisters and brothers here. Um, I'd like to say that through the rigors and shared experiences uh, of this amazing chiropractic program that we have, that you've developed significant connections with one another, yes? Incredible, uh, incredible as it is, this mutual support and encouragement has helped you to get to where you are right now. Yes or yes? Yeah. So, members of my jury, soon to be jury of my peers, I'm going to ask you to, uh, which, if you're, if you're rec in the rec receiving this, this type of love and encouragement and support, which direction do you pay it? You go forward with it, right? So I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you to pay it forward. Pay it forward with service in your heart. Be humble and be grateful. Be grateful and um, stay curious. I just want you to forever uh, stay curious. Continue to learn. Be awesome at what you do. Just strive to be awesome in everything that you do. And uh, don't forget to have fun, right? Don't forget to have fun along the way, all right? So uh, congratulations to all of you. I love you all. Uh, Pulse us up. Onward and upward. Thank you. You can sit down. So thank you, Dr. Muldoon, for that moving address. As all of you can see, you know now why the T6 is selected, Dr. Muldoon, to be the keynote speaker for today. Now is the time everybody's been waiting for. Do you know that when we were standing outside taking pictures, people were actually nervous about the idea of walking across the stage? We got gotcha. you. We'll show you where to go, and you're going to be good. 
Uh, so it is time for the acceptance of your white coat certificates. Recipients in the front row, except for Mike Cooper, uh, you're going to be lining up in alphabetical order over on this side. So my front row people, go ahead and stand up and you can just line up over here by the steps. And as your name is called off, you are going to walk across the stage to receive your certificate. As you exit the stage, you're going to notice some very nice blue marked tape. Pop a hip, okay? Make it good. Get your picture. It's your professional picture. Uh, and families and friends, as your recipient is going across the stage, feel free to come on up. This is a celebration. So you can come up, stand at the base of the, the stage, take your pictures, right? And I expect you to hoot and holler and embarrass these students. This is what the faculty have lived for for the last two years, so don't let us down. That's all I can say. So I want to have a little practice run, because you all seem very somber. This is, this is a serious celebration, but it's an exciting one for us, right? So on the count of three, I expect everybody to cheer. Give it a good go. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> huh. I'm not even going to make you redo it. That was pretty darn good. All right, awesome. So at this point in time, I would like to introduce Dr. Mary Tookshire to the podium, who will be introducing the recipients, and Dr. Chris Smoley, who will be presenting the Certificate of Achievement. I won't even make you do the real cheer, or, or can you? Oppenheim! Gordon! Excellent. <laughs> Taylor Andrews. <laughs> Alessio, no, Alessio Angiolilli. <laughs> Abigail Beadle. Montana Belford. <laughs> Rahul Bhakta. <laughs> Daniel Bolenberg. <laughs> Paige Brabant. Jessica Brandt. <laughs> Carrie Clausen. <laughs> Aspen Comus. <laughs> Mike Cooper. Zach Corneliuson. Kate Cox. Sydney Coxworth. Nick Curtis. Carter Danzak. <laughs> Isabella Deacon. <laughs> Riley Edling. <laughs> Danny Edstrom. Isabella Frailing. Yeah. 
Morgan Geetson. Devin Gannott. Hannah Golt. Jacob Grun. Jacob Gunderson. Lucy Gustafson. Stormy Hamilton. Megan Hanna. Caden Hare. Caitlin Harrington. Quincy Hurl. Emily Hoyt. Gavin Cadlick. <laughs> Mr. Nathan Colstead. <laughs> Michaela Keel. There we go. I missed Cole Karch. <laughs> Hiding right at the top of the page. <laughs> Katie Keelan. <laughs> Saruba Jot Kara. 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 Caleb Chose. Austin Kranz. Henry LaCourcier. Rachel LaPlante. Jacob Levinsky. <laughs> Kayla Lewis. <laughs> Darian Lindsay. <laughs> Antonio Lopez Jr. Isaac Lund. Monica Majeski. Devin Martinez. Tanaglis Mo. Jessica Munch. Matthew Nelson. Blake Penner. Oren Rambo. Dana Rogers. Yeah. 
Mina Scanlon. Brandon Sloniker. Brooke Stefanik. Connor Stein. Elizabeth Sutton. Megan Tuft. Katie Windhorst. Mackenzie Youngs. Kaylee Zard. And Michael Zubkoff. Thank you, Dr. Tookshire. I do not, I, I get nervous when I read names, so uh, she's phenomenal at it and keeps the energy flowing, so thanks again for doing that. Fantastic job. Now, my job right now is to introduce Mr. Mike Cooper, who's going to be coming up to lead the oath for our recipients. So please come on up to the podium. So I'll have all of you guys stand up. <clears throat> Perfect. And then raise your right hand and repeat after me. On this day, Saturday, May 21st, 2022, in the presence of family, friends, esteemed faculty and staff, I hereby affirm to hold myself and colleagues accountable to the content and spirit of this oath. Okay, now your turn. With honor and pride, I vow to uphold the rights and responsibilities entrusted to me by my training as a doctor of chiropractic at Northwestern Health Sciences University and commit to becoming an active advocate of our chiropractic profession. I will faithfully serve the well-being of my patients by upholding myself and my colleagues to the highest degree of professionalism and integrity with unquestionable and unwavering ethic. I will advocate for my profession as a distinct and holistic approach to health. I will esteem those who have taught me the art, science, and philosophy of chiropractic, respecting the knowledge, wisdom, and contributions of my predecessors. I will at all times stand ready to serve humankind and the profession by dedicating my own life to the pursuit of health and wellness. I will act within my capabilities and recognize my limitations. I will act in my patient's best interest and will regard the keeping of his or her confidence in me as a moral obligation.
I pledge my dedication to this practice of chiropractic so that all those I serve may discover true healing, transformation, and awareness in all aspects of their lives and consciousness through chiropractic. May my skillful hands bring strength to the sick, relief to the suffering, and peace of mind to the anxious. May I provide inspiration for all to attain bountiful health and live this life to the fullest expression of its innate endowments. With great reverence, I will always affirm these principles, acknowledging that every human life is valuable and powerful. I uphold myself to this oath of my own volition. I do this freely and righteously in com commitment to learning, living, and serving. May I hold fast to the enthusiasm, passion, and idealism with which I take this pledge. Nice. You can sit down. So as we near the end of our program, I am pleased to introduce the President and CEO of Northwestern Health Sciences University, Dr. Deborah Bushway, who will provide our closing remarks. I will be returning up here to give some last minute instructions, so don't run away, all right? Thanks so much, Dean KBR. So I love this ceremony. Um, for me, this is a moment when I can close up see the benefit these first two years have had. I met some of you probably during Discovery Day, even if it was virtual, and maybe even some of your family and friends at that point. Probably we had orientation virtually for you, did we? Yeah. But you know what? You guys hung in here, so you give me hope. You give me hope for the future, hope for the future of chiropractic. You remind me that the the world needs you, needs us, needs our graduates. Our mission is to educate the future healthcare providers of the world. We know that our healthcare systems have taken a hit in these last several years, but they needed you even before that time, and they need you even more now. What you bring to the table as chiropractors will substantially change the trajectory of health and well being for the rest of our communities. And I want to thank you for taking that risk during a time when it truly had to feel like a risk. <laughs> and you may have doubted that decision a few times. But as was said, your amazing faculty have pivoted and brought you to the place that you are. So I hope you feel proud of yourselves. I always feel just moved and hopeful for the future uh, during these white coat ceremonies. I know that during these next several tries, when you walk across a different stage to graduate, your confidence will be even greater about what you bring to your communities and your practices beyond here. So thank you for hanging in. Thanks to your faculty for getting you this far. And thanks to all of you for the tremendous support that's already been noted. It is true that these folks live in community with all of you and with one another. Um, and that community forms how they're able to move into the world and bring a broader healing presence to a world that has a lot of healing needs right now. So what I think about in this ceremony, believe it or not, I always try to think of a different quote and I come back to this quote because I think, I hope it speaks to you as much as it does to me. Um, so it's not from a chiropractor, but it is from another healer. And the quote is, when we're mindful of the various elements of the human experience and are acutely aware of the sacred responsibility we hold when we treat another person, and we are humbled by the beauty, sensitivity, and complexity of the human body and spirit. It is in that moment that we do our best work. And in that moment that we are in service to the well-being of the patient, and we are grateful 
for the fulfilling experience of restoring health to that person. I wish you many, many moments like that in your journey as healers. I know you'll have them, and I hope you take a moment to absorb them and let them fuel you as you continue toward your work. I think that last bit of instruction that Dr. KBR gave was for me to not dismiss you, so she's going to give you the next uh, instruction. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Dr. Bushway, for those inspiring words. And you know, it dawns on me, I, I too, white coat ceremony is my favorite ceremony because it means we still get to have you with us, learning with us, right? We learn from you, you learn from us for the next few terms. Uh, but the next time you go across a stage like this with your colleagues is commencement. And when you go across that stage, you become doctor. I mean, wow. So this is like a run through for everybody, right? You're all gonna come back for that commencement? Yes, yes, okay, I hope so. All right, so just a, a last few uh, uh, pieces of information for the ceremony today as we conclude. Recipients, we will have you process up this middle aisle um, and go out into the foyer, and once the recipients are out, then everybody is welcome to join them in the foyer in the cafeteria. We have some light refreshments for you there. Please do eat the cookies, or I will be forced to. I don't want that. Uh, Please note that we do have some guests and recipients for our next ceremony who's probably going to start arriving around 12.30. So we're going to be using that downstairs courtyard for the picture as well. The students know where that's at. Everything else is fair game. So take pictures, celebrate with one another, capture your faculty, take pictures with them as well. We just want to thank each and every one of you for being part of this special event today. Congratulations to our newest White Coat recipients. Let's give them one more big round of applause. Woo!